Chalk, Yunzu is administered on him. It's about cleansing, spiritual cleansing. And thereafter, when he gets home, he will start administering to whoever comes to visit him. Yes, my brother, with both hands, and pray for Almighty God. of this ceremony is that when you walk, you reap the fruits of your labor. He has walked, he has served, and reaped the fruits of his labor. He didn't walk for himself, he walk for mankind, for humanity. And that's what it's written for today. So I'm going to say, just ask him to continue to do the good works that he's known for. Go here, passionately,
May the soul of our departed colleague, Chief Doctor F. U. Edozier, do one and the soul of all the faithful departed rest in the course of Anyhow, 
you know? And when you're going to a function, any function, for the property dressed, like this. Any function you're going to, for the property dressed. Because these are the basic things. I open in a book pushing there anyhow. I know you don't. It stops. You know? You have to be careful the things you say. Like I did before I'm in the world. I said, I'm not going to be in the world. I'm not going to be in the world. So, we also try to do things in order to give them room to all the world. Yeah. So, these are some of the things I need. I need to ask about it. Once in a while, I need to ask about it. I need to ask about it. I need to ask about it. I don't <laughs> Oh my God! I Including Okay. The ceremony is starting at 11 a.m., not one. They haven't gone through the process. Now, boss, you want a one one year. Boss, you only a video by 11 a.m. So, I'm a villager. 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 i Because I I now, 
now a commitment. Uh, I'm sure it's, not, it's no longer a new news to some of us, or all of us, that uh, Odi, oh yes, it was the platform, that uh, Odi Ahama is planning to take the Odi title, starting from, starting from, starting from the first week of January. January. I say starting from if only you can run a bear. When I do of Yasa, when you are lost, the finish and Nebo Ano. Now, we are a great chief rap. Paloko has the truth about it. Opera, Odobo, Odobo, Odobo Abbey. When I ever knew India be there, where another chop and chop. Now, I'm not going to get a great. If it were 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 and able to make it today. I'm sure you will see more in the list tomorrow in our palace. Is it either salad or more? Yes, sir. But I thought if two things in the name, and the only in the lab. Nandi Odojako. I don't can. Can make one of my which are one of the beauty of the short river. Because of that, beyond the control of the Menamun Abia, which is now after two explanations. Approval goes just the left now at the later date. So that is the situation for today. Oh, yes. 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 Start at 11 a.m. So all only the list of the Lastly, 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 with the permission of that, you know, the delivery of the elders, all of us. Let me quickly invite one of us to give a vote of thanks. And then the ceremony will have been regarded as closed. <laughs> I'm 
Pardon me for breaching the protocol.
civilization and indeed westernization produced a huge outlay of Asaba people whose educational background propelled them to a life of public service. It is therefore understandable why many of Asaba elites who were products of such parentage were born outside Asaba. Your Royal Majesty Obueshi Chile Dumo Kolo who stands before you today in humility and reverence, belongs to this class of Asaba elites, born while their parents sojourned in the service of their fatherland. 
which Ichinegu Moikolo, you were born on the 14th day of April 1952, at Port Harcourt, to the family of Oguo Ishiyoko Gondo, and Nosa Amaka Gondo, who are born in Nosa Amaka Gondo, who are born in Nosa Amaka and you traveled to the United States of America for further education. First, you gained admission to Grambling State University in Louisiana, where you studied biology as major and chemistry as minor for your Bachelor of Science degree. Given your cerebral sagacity and profound intellectual acumen, you successfully obtained your BSc Honors degree in 1979. You quickly enrolled for your postgraduate studies in 1983, you successfully bagged an MSc degree in geology upon the completion of your program at the university. Weshimokodo, armed with the proverbial golden fleece, and determined to put your acquired knowledge to the benefit of your fatherland, you returned back to Nigeria in 1984 for your compulsory one year national youth service scheme. You had your primary assignment at the Nigerian Gold Corporation and successfully passed out in 1985. Your professional career as a geologist, seismologist, started with your engagement by Geosource Nigeria Limited, involved in oil exploration activities. The company metamorphosed into the octopus known as Halliburton Geophysical Services. Here your coast really expanded by the training in the United Kingdom and other parts of the world. At Halliburton, you grew through the ranks in an upward trajectory that catapulted you to the position of Assistant Party Chief. Your return to Nigeria did not endure. Not even engagement with Halliburton could assuage your thirst for fresh challenges and your hunger for greater exploits. You returned back to the U.S. to follow your working life at High Pro and Blue Chip Oil Service Companies like diversified well logging, Baker High, High's Oil and Exploration, as well as Halliburton Oil Services. In your career paths and progression, you have used your privileged position to assist many Nigerians, including Asaba Indigenous. Besides working in the above companies, your field work gave you global exposure, and you travel the length and breadth of the world to Alaska, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, and other parts of the Gulf of Mexico. You retired from Halliburton in 2013 and went into private business. You set up the consulting company Simon Well Power Solution LCC, with which you provided consultancy services to Synergy slash Shell Oil International. You also established logistic company Advanced Carriers Incorporation. By way of diversifying your business portfolio, you venture into healthcare service through the setting up of Apex Home Health Service with over 150 employees. In addition, you established the Hope Adult Daycare Center to cater for the special needs of the physically challenged and the less privileged. Another venture to your credit is the able caring and hospice services, which provides comfort to the dying. The investments in the healthcare sector enabled you provide employment opportunities to many Nigerians indeed as other professionals including nurses. Which each yours have not been all career progression and business investment. You have delicately balanced a life of career advancement and a family life that is successful in all its ramifications. Married your wife Pamela in 1981 and the union is blessed with four children. Ueshimokolo, you are known for your humility and most unassuming disposition. You are a member of ASDEP H1 Club Port Harcourt Branch. You are popularly referred to as Daddy because of your selflessness and your enduring determination to uplift the poor and the downtrodden. You are a committed member of Asaba Progressive Union, Texas, People's Club of Nigeria International, and Cardinal Social Club of Houston, Texas. Your Royal Majesty, time and space will not permit me 
to continue with the intimidating profile of Ogweji Mokolo. But suffice it, however, to say that he has so eminently demonstrated diligence and therefore qualified to stand before your Royal Majesty. Your Royal Majesty, Ogweji Chinedu Mokolo, is hereby invited to approach the exalted throne in humility and reverence for the conferment of the prestigious Ulinzele Chieftaincy title. Nago, Nago, Nago.
Kita nago so ibe ifunu ito anu ifunu jige ibe abu hazi ifunu baloni kabwa kanga budi ba.
solemnly swear and affirm that I will be faithful and fair through allegiance to the Asaba, Asaba in Council, and the Asaba, Asaba community, that I will preserve, protect, and defend the custom and tradition of Asaba. So help me God. Out of office, I, Uweshi Chinedu Simo Kolo, do solemnly swear and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Asaba, Asaba in Council, Asaba, Asaba community. That, that is, that as the Omeselecha of Asaba. I will perform my function honestly to the best ability, faithfully in accordance with the laid down custom and tradition of Asaba, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well being, and prosperity of Asaba. That I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directive principles contained in the guidelines approved by the Asaba in Council in respect of the Umeselinja of Asaba. Dated this, so help me God. If I go for our oath of allegiance and oath of office, the summary of it will not. All you go is firm promise to be loyal, abide by the principles, have respect for the constituent authority, the, the only prescribed authority of the tradition and custom of Asaba. One now go, Asaba in council, and bear true allegiance to both of them. God will help him as he has prayed. So help him, God. Hey, 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 hey,
The next item on this program for today, the Israel Majesty Joseph of Asaba will now formally present the certificate of oath of allegiance and oath of office, signed by the recipient and countersigned by Israel Majesty Joseph of Asaba.
Don't put your hand there! Go down, go down. Hello, Nala na Poa. I don't know I shall have a monkey. When you say never know what was you having to point out. Don't put your hand there. Go down, go down.